today we will discuss about uh, how are we going to apply multiplication and division of polynomials in problem solving. Okay, let us have example number one. We have to solve here problem. What is the area of the rectangle whose length is x plus 7 and width is x minus 7? So before we answer this problem, so see to it that what operation are we going to use? Is it multiplication or is it division? So first, to identify what operation, we need to find out what is asking for the problem. So the problem is asking for the area of the rectangle. So it, in, it involves the formula for finding the area of the rectangle. And what is that formula? So we have your area is equal to length times width. So it means that the operation that we're going to use to solve the problem is multiplication of polynomials. So by substituting, we have here the length which is equal to x plus 7. So x plus 7, the quantity of x plus 7, times the width which is x minus 7. So we have here multiplication of binomial by another binomial. So we can use the vertical method here, alignment. So uh, we have here the solution, x plus 7 times x minus 7. So first, we distribute negative 7 or multiply it to positive 7. So negative 7 times positive 7, we have negative 49. Then negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Then we have your x times positive 7, so positive 7x. Then x times x, so remember that when multiplication with the same base, we add their corresponding exponent. So we have your x raised to 1 plus 1, so we have squared. So we have your add the partial product, so we just bring down x squared. And then what is negative 7x plus positive 7x? So we are adding opposite terms. So if it is opposite terms, the sum is 0. So no need to write 0. Then we just bring down negative 49. So therefore, the product of x plus 7 and x minus 7 is equal to x squared minus 49. So the area of the rectangle is equal to x squared minus 49. Okay, let's have example number 2 for the problem solving. So question, what is the area of the square whose sides measure 2x plus 3? So again, it's involved the area of the square. So we need the formula for finding the area of the square. And the formula is A equals S squared. So S squared means S times S or side times side. And we substitute the given value for the side which is 2x plus 3. So we have here 2x plus 3, the quantity of 2x plus 3 squared. And the quantity of 2x plus 3 squared means 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. So that's the uh, meaning of the exponent that you will going to multiply the base to itself how many times if the given exponent is 2 so we will multiply it to itself 2 times okay so now let us multiply using the vertical method so we have your 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 so positive 3 times positive 3 is positive 9 then positive 3 times 2x is positive 6 x. Then positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6x. Then 2x times 2x. So 2 times 2, we have 4. Then we just copy x, the uh, same base, then add the exponent since this is multiplication. So we have squared. Then we add the partial product. So we bring down 4x squared. Then what is positive 6 plus positive 6? So we have positive 12, then copy the literal coefficient, which is x, then we just bring down 9. So therefore, the area of the square whose sides measure 2x plus 3 is 4x squared plus 12x 
plus 9. Okay? So, this is our answer. Okay, let us discuss example number 3. So, we have here the area of the rectangle is 5x squared plus 13x minus 6. What is the length if the width is x plus 3? So, we have your area of the rectangle. So, we need the formula for the area of the rectangle. So, we have your A is equal to length times width. Then, substitute the given values. So, we have your area, which is 5x squared. So, 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 equals L. You don't have the value for L because we are looking for the length and then the width which is x plus 3. So now how are we going to solve for L? So L is equal to 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 all over x plus 3. So it is division. So let us divide. So again for division, see to it that the Dividend and the divisor is arranged in its standard form. So we have here 2, 1, 0. Then we have 1, 0. So we can now write it in our division symbol. So we have here 5x squared plus 13x minus 6 divided by x plus 3. So again, division First term divided by the first term. First term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor. So 5x squared divided by x. So we have here 5x. So x na lang kasi isusubtract natin yung exponent ng x. So 2 times 1 will be 1. And then, multiply natin tong 5x na to kay x plus 3. So 5x times x. We have 5x squared. At susulat natin yun sa baba ni 5x squared. Kasi magkaparehas sila ng term. Or they are similar terms. Then 5x times positive 3. We have positive 15x. So susulat naman natin siya sa baba ni positive 13x. Kasi kasimilar naman yon ni 15x. Then susunod ay subtraction. So itong subtraction na to, papalitan natin ng addition. Then yung 5x squared, papagtan natin ng sign na magiging negative 5x squared. Then yung positive 15x, gagawin natin negative 15x. So let's add. So what is 5 plus negative 5? So it is 0. Then positive 13 plus negative 15. So we have negative 2. Then copy the literal coefficient x. Then bring down the next term. Then again, First term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor. So, negative 2x divided by x. So, we will have negative 2. We can cancel x because they have the same base at the same time, same exponent. So, we will have negative 2 as quotient. Then, multiply negative 2 to x plus 3. So, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. So, we align it below negative 2x because they are similar terms. Then, we have negative 2 times positive 3. So, we have negative 6. So, we will align it below negative 6 because they are both constant. So, now we can subtract. So, no need to change it to addition because obviously, when we subtract the same term to itself, the difference is Zero. So therefore, the length is equal to 5x minus 2. Okay, let us discuss uh, problem number 4. So we have here, what is the average speed of the car that covers a distance of 8y cubed minus 10y squared plus 15y minus 6 kilometer in 2y minus 1r. Okay, so this time, the problem is asking for the average speed. So what formula are we going to use if we need to find the speed? So the formula that we're going to use is that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So let us substitute. 
So S is equal to, we have the distance which is 8Y cubed minus 10Y squared plus 15Y minus 6 all over the time which is 2Y minus 1. So let us divide. So again, before we write it in our division symbol, let's see if this 2 is written in its standard form. So we have here 3, 2, 1, 0. Then we have 1, 0. Okay. So it's in their standard form. So we have your 8y cubed minus 10y squared plus 15y minus 6 as our dividend. Then our divisor is 2y minus 1. So again, we already discussed how to divide. So let's proceed to division. So again, dividend, first term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor. So 8y cubed divided by 2y. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then y cubed divided by y is y squared. So again, subtract the exponent. 3 times, uh, minus 1 is 2. So we have 4y squared. Then multiply 4y squared to 2y minus 1. Okay? So 4y squared times 2y, so it is equal to 8y cubed. So we align it with 8y cubed because they are similar terms. Then 4y squared times negative 1 is negative 4y squared. So we align it with negative 10y squared because it is similar with negative 10y squared. Then we proceed to subtraction. So we will change this to plus sign. Then 8y cubed will become negative. Then negative 4y squared will become positive. Now, 8y cubed plus negative 8y cubed, so it is equal to 0. Then negative 10y squared plus positive 4y squared, so it is negative 6y squared. Then we just bring down positive 15y. Then again, first term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor. So negative 6y squared divided by positive 2y. So, negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3. Then, y squared divided by y, so it's just simply y because we will subtract 2. Okay, we will subtract 1 from 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, then after we get the partial quotient, we multiply it to the divisor. So, negative 3y times positive 2y, so we have negative 6y squared. So, we align it with negative 6y squared because they are similar terms. Then, negative 3y times negative 1 is positive 3y. So, we align it with 15y because they are similar terms. Then, we proceed to subtraction. So, again, change subtraction to addition. Change negative 6y squared to positive 6y squared and positive 3y to negative 3y. So what is negative 6y squared plus positive 6y squared? So it is 0. Then positive 15y plus negative 3y. So we have positive 12y. Then we bring down negative 6. So again, first term of the dividend divided by the first term of the divisor. So, 12y divided by 2y, so 12 divided by 2, we have positive 6. Then we can cancel y because they are uh, the same base and then at the same time, my parehas na exponent, which is 1. And then we multiply positive 6 to the divisor. So, 6 times 2y, so we have 12y. We align it with 12y because they are similar. Then positive 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Then we proceed to subtraction. So what is 12y minus 12y? So it is 0. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is 0. So therefore, the quotient is 4y squared minus 3y plus 6. So the speed is equal to 4y squared minus 3y plus 6. 
Okay, and what will be our units of kilometer per hour? Okay, okay. So let us have example number five. Multiply m squared plus 3m minus 4 by the sum of m plus 2 and 2m minus 3. So let us write n here. So indicate that we have two binomials. So we have your m plus 2 and 2m minus 3. So it means that we have to find first the sum of m plus 2 and 2m minus 3, then multiply it to m squared plus 3m minus 4. So let us add. So m plus 2 plus 2m minus 3. So we align it vertically wherein uh, the arrangement in is similar terms. So we have your positive 2 plus negative 3, we have negative 1. And m plus 2m, so we have 3m. Okay? Then we will multiply this 3m minus 1 to m squared plus 3m minus 4. So we have your m squared plus 3m minus 4 multiplied by 3m minus 1. So let us use the vertical method. Okay? So first, we will multiply negative 1 to negative 4 to positive 3m and to m squared. So negative 1 times negative 4, so we have positive 4. And then negative 1 times positive 3m, so we have negative 3m. Then negative 1 times m squared, so we have negative m squared. Okay? Then now, let us have 3m. So you multiply din natin si 3m kay negative 4, kay 3m, at saka kay m squared. So 3m times negative 4, so positive times negative, so we have negative 12m. And then we will write it below negative 3m because they are similar terms. So negative 12m. Then we have your positive 3m times positive 3m. So we have positive 9m. Then 1 plus 1, so because this is multiplication, we add the exponent. So we have squared. Then we will write it below negative m squared because it is similar with 9m squared. Then 3m times m squared, so we have 3m, then add the exponent, 1 plus 2, so we have 3. Then we add the partial product. So we just bring down 3m cubed, and then negative 1 plus positive 9, so we have positive 8m squared, so we just copy the literal coefficient because it, it is just addition. And then negative 3 plus negative 12, so we have negative 15m. So we copy the literal coefficient. Then bring down positive 4. So the answer for problem number 5 is 3m cubed plus 8m squared minus 15m plus 4. So sana may natutunan kayo dito sa application ng multiplication and division and how it will be used in problem solving. Thank you for watching!